DNB here with another Plot Factory tutorial, and uh, today we're going to take a little look at version 3, which is now live. Um, so there's been feedback and comments about changes that users have wanted to see, and Plot Factory has replied with a nice new type release. And so starting right away on the dashboard, you'll notice a few things. Um, the little modules that are visible here have been cleaned up some. Um, instead of taking up three rows, now they're just been compacted into two. So this has been cleaned up a little bit, kind of putting the most important ones here at the top. Um, so this little cleaner look. I don't remember whether or not these announcements um, and uh, notifications were here before. Um, I think they might have been, but anyway, nice spot for those. And the main thing you'll notice here is over on the left bar, this has been simplified pretty greatly. There's three or four options that are not here any longer that you'll find in other places in the software, um, you know, like the name generator and stuff like that, that <clears throat> there's not really any reason for you to use here from your main dashboard. So this has been simplified into university uh, universes and stories, character sheets, questionnaires, um, these are your main two tabs here. So clicking on the universe tab, you'll see the out uh, the layout here is um, a little different than it used to be. Uh, this was done so as to make it a little more clear as to when you're on these uh, pages that are listing out kind of the different ones to select rather than being kind of in a grid format. Um, they're more in a list. So here's all my universes. You can still have the same functionality to create new ones, select old ones. Uh, one thing you'll notice, we've come down here. Um, this confused me a little bit. Uh, the first time I selected one and got here and then didn't see any option to jump into my stories in the universe. Um, and then I realized over here, this bar changes when you select a particular universe, it, plot, it drops the universe uh, menu in that you can choose back and forth between the main menu and the universe menu um, over here. So you can go back now to see what you were seeing before, um, or now that you selected a universe, you get this option to see sort of the general information about the universe. Or if I click here, here's where all my stories are that I have within this universe. So and once again, like this has been the most recent one that I've been working in. That is still available right here from the dashboard. If I just click that, jump right in, one click, and I'm back to where I left off. Um, well, not exactly to where I left off. That's something that might still be coming <clears throat> right now. I'm back at the beginning, um, not necessarily where I left off. Um, of the story, but I can get to where I left off much more readily and easily now. So if you come over here on the right, this used to just have the names of the chapters. Now you can click on these chapters and you can drop down all of the scenes. Um, you know, scenes don't really have names typically, and so this just provides you the first um, with the beginning of the text of each of these scenes. So I get a quick like, okay, this is where this was happening, this, 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 this. Obviously, if I just wanted to pick up where I left off, I could click on the last one, scroll everything back down to where I was. And now this is a great time to mention a new um, feature that you will notice if you turn it on. Um, so if mine's turned on, but I'll show you guys where you can turn it on. We now have this nice little bar down here at the bottom. Instead of having a bar that was kind of floating up here at the top, and then it was at the top of every single scene um, where you could mess around with rich text options and, and stuff like that, it was getting a little weird because you'd have one floating up here, and then you'd have another one here at the beginning of the scene. Um, so there was some feedback given on that. Um, and Plot Factory took some quick action, and they've now got this bar put here on the bottom. Um, and if I click on this little icon here, 
I think this is what? No, this little icon is what I want to look at first. You will notice typewriter mode has been added in. And so paragraph indentation and space between paragraphs and selecting your font size, these things have always been available. Now they're much more convenient. Like this font size was something that you used to have to kind of go up in your account and find. Um, and I think there were a lot of people that didn't know that it existed. So it's by default 16, um, I think, pixel, and I, I actually set mine up to 18, so what you're seeing in my editor is a little bit bigger than normal, but, you know, hey, I'm, I'm in my 40s and I need a little bit bigger font, you know? So space between paragraphs, paragraph invitation. Now they've got this typewriter mode. This is something that I know a lot of us have been looking for. It's now available. You're going to have to click it on. Um, or it will not by default be on. And what this means when it is set is that I no longer have to come down here and add blank scenes in order to kind of scroll my typing point up. As I type, my spot where I am typing will continue to move and scroll with me. Um, so that I don't have to kind of add blank space at the end or create like an empty scene so that I can, you know, not be typing down here at the very bottom of the screen, but instead be typing much closer to the middle of the screen. Um, you know, I think I would kind of prefer this to be a little bit higher even, uh, but this is has worked so far really nice. Um, for me so that I, I find that as I'm typing and it's a much more comfortable spot um, that my you know my head and my neck are not looking down I don't feel like I'm at the bottom of the screen the whole time so that I think is has been a great little addition um, other things I'll go ahead and point out down here this has been another change that is really nice um, the word count is now giving me um, the word count in this chapter, the word count in the total project, and then if you'll notice here, the word count in the scene. And so for someone like me, this just makes it a, you know, a ton easier to kind of see like, okay, I started in this scene today. Okay, and I can quickly see how many words I've written. <clears throat> you know, and if I've written two scenes so far, I can very quickly sort of assess, like, okay, that's how many words I've written today. Um, there is still the session goal. Um, I don't think there's been any changes made to it. I haven't had time to play around with it to confirm. This is hard for me because I just never remember to, to turn it on. You know, I just get in and I start writing where I left off, and then partway through my writing I realize, oh, I forgot to to set this, and so if I wanted to make sure that I hit 2,000 or 3,000 words for the day, um, you know, then I, I've already kind of lost being able to set that at the beginning, and the easiest way for me to see is like, okay, well, I started with this scene, and, you know, I can quickly assess the like, okay, that's, a, you know, 1,200 word scene, so I know how many words I've written so far today. So I really like that change. You'll also notice that there's this drafting was, again, it was in the program before, but it was a little inconvenient. A lot of people, I think, maybe didn't know about it. Um, right now, I only have one draft, and so this isn't really going to do anything until um, you are able to, you know, once, if I were to click this, if I had multiple drafts, then I'd be able to kind of go back and forth. I think the nice thing about this is going to be for those of us who fly a little bit more by the seat of your pants and you might decide, okay, I'm really going to shake this up. I'm going to delete some stuff. I'm going to retry something. I'm going to see where it goes. Um, <clears throat> but I might not like it. Um, this gives you that ability to do what some programs kind of call a snapshot. Um, you know, you save one version and you can change it up, move things around, delete things, try new things, and you can always go back to that other draft if you decide, uh, you know, this just really didn't work out for me. 
Um, I'm going to go back to where I saved my draft and just start over. This this will give you that ability. I guess it also could be handy for people that just kind of like to mark um, and go back and look and see like, oh wow, this is what my first draft looked like when it was done, or this is what my second draft looked like. Um, typically, you know, my first draft I go over two or three times really before I, I finish it, so there's no clear demarcations there. All really great, nice things that you can play around with here in the editor. Um, just so We'll run through a, a few other uh, quick things that have changed. We won't touch on everything in this video, but if we click on characters, you'll once again see how the layout just for these is different now instead of the characters being across in three rows. They're just, it's one list um, going down. So, you know, not a huge change. It helps differentiate, I guess, helps you understand where you're at and what you're doing. Still has the same functionality. I believe this is new up here where you can kind of much more clearly see um, where you are and be able to kind of go back without even having to go back to the right tab. Um, you know, you could go back to your story and what you were doing. Um, this is something that is fun. We now have POV characters. Uh, there was a similar, you know, sort of functionality in Story Shop where you can. Um, this story is told by this. Its first person is told by this character in every single scene. But for one where you're jumping back and forth from different POVs, it could be really nice to be able to set that um, so that you can clearly see as you're going through that, okay, this goes back into this character's POV, this goes back to this character's POV, etc. And so we've also made some fairly significant changes over here. Um, outlines is still uh, pretty much the same. Um, I don't think there's been any major changes here. Um, this used to be the plot organizer, I think. Um, it is now called Plots, um, and but the key thing that I want to show you guys is if you go back into the editor, the main editor here, um, there is now on this menu a Beats mode that has been added. And so in particular, if you were used to using Story Shop, this is huge. Um, and you'll notice here that the name generator and stuff, this has been search and replace, export, all these things have kind of been collected here. Um, beats mode, this is what I've been accustomed to in Story Shop. And so this is showing um, notes, so, you know, um, planning notes that are attached to the chapters and the scenes that I've already created in my story. And so rather than me having to create a fresh outline or to create these chapters and scenes um, containers again, the containers are the same. They're right here. Um, you know, I can expand and collapse them. Um, and so this is my chapter one right here. You know, this is the first scene, this is the, you know, that, so this matches up with this, this matches up with this. I don't have to recreate them. Same thing, second chapter matches up with the second chapter. Um, this is new, and as you can tell, I just, I haven't come in here and filled in my beats yet, and so um, there's nothing in any of these. These are, this synopsis is, is fairly similar to what the Pulse was in Story Shop. It's a a short summary that you can type in there. Um, and honestly, some of this is brand new to me. I haven't even played around with it yet. Oh, but here's the ability to actually see the narrative content that is inside this scene. Interesting. So you can make your notes here. You can see the, the narrative content if you need to without going anywhere. Um, now, there is not yet a spot for, like, I have notes for the, at the chapter level. Um, those are not in here anywhere, um, but I've already talked to Jeff over at Plot Factory, and my understanding is that those, that'll be added, that'll be coming, so that you can see kind of your 
chapter notes as well as your scene notes. Pretty much how they were in the beats mode in Story Shop. Um, you know, these are drag and droppable. You can see as I'm moving them over here, um, you know, they correspond over here. These are attached. These are the same thing. Um, so very nice for those of us who kind of do this beats mode planning. You could come in here, you can plan, map everything out, be able to see it quickly in your outline. Um, either, you know, click here. Um, they've got this nice back to the story button that just kind of scrolls it back out of the way. You go back to where you were when you left off. Um, and you don't have to even really mess around anymore with kind of building a second plot kind of beats area outline <clears throat> like I had done with this one where I came in and I had to, you know, add each one of these, label them, um, scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four, um, but there's no real connection between any of these and the narrative text. This is just an area where I'd have to flip back and forth in order to see my notes. Um, and typically I was just keeping a second window open. Now I can go to the story and all I have to do to check my notes is come in here and click over to the beats mode. And then I can check those up real quick and, and go back to the story. So this is a little quicker, a little cleaner, an easier way um, to, you know, kind of go back and forth between your beats planning and the, and the editor. And so that's about it. Um, the rest of these things, pretty much uh, no major differences to your, you know, places, objects, elements, other than the same things with the characters. These are, you know, kind of presented differently. Um, sharing, this is the ability that's, that's always existed in order to create a link um, that someone can come in and look at. Um, and, you know, it's great for beta readers and things like that. So, we've got, you know, the, again, the main changes, the navigation over here, you've got these two menus that you can quickly access. A lot of the stuff that used to kind of be bogging down the main menu has been moved to other locations. That's a little more convenient. And the uh, plots or the plot organizer is evolving. Um, I think even this um, outlines is evolving. These are areas where you might see some continued changes down the road. The main indicator of that has been the addition of beats mode. Um, you know, typewriter mode, another great thing that I've already been using all the time, as well as the, the word tracking. So some great stuff, some things that were there already, but that are now a little bit more convenient um, and quicker to access. So overall, some great changes happening, and I'll see you in the story.